Hey, Jonathan here at Intro to Construction. Uh, it's going to go over Chapter 6 in Mark Huth's book, uh, Basic Principles of Construction. So this is kind of the start of math and construction math. And in Chapter 6, we're looking at whole numbers, four different operations, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and then solving problems in, involving these operations. A couple of key things to remember is you really want to stay organized really good handwriting, keep your numbers all lined up in straight columns, and make sure you always uh, label your units correctly. Here's some example problems. Let me put the screen up. I'll run through some of them. So 112 feet plus 96 feet plus 40, 57. I start on the right. 2 and 6 is 8. And 0 and 7 is 15. Carry the 1, 2, 11, 15 and 20, carry the 2, and I get 305 feet. Always keep track of your units. Right over here, I have 8 plus 4 plus 4, 16, 21, carrying the 2, 8, 9, 13, and 5 is 18, carry the 1, 1, 7, 8 plus 8, 16, plus 6, 22, 27, carry the 2, 2 and 2 is 4, remember the comma on every three digits, there are no units on that one, right here I'm adding pound, 0, 4, 4, 12, 12 and 9 is 21, carry the 2, 9, 10, 15, carry the 1, 10, 11. Remember the comma, and that's pounds. And the fourth one right here is 21. No units attached to that. Okay, so it's really about knowing your math facts and keeping organized. Okay. Here's some more subtraction. 29 minus 5. You do 9 minus 5 to get 4. Then carry the 2 down to get 24. 57 minus 18. Let me put this back up. 57 minus 18. I have to borrow a whole 10 from here. So that becomes 40. This becomes 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3. Remember the units of feet. Over here, I have 28 minus 13. 8 minus 3. This is larger, easy enough. 5, 2 minus 1, 15. And that's cubic yards. Uh, 0 minus 6, I can't do that. I have to borrow 10 from here. So I have 10 minus 6, which is 4. Right here I have 1 minus 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. So I have 14 inches. Okay. 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And this is pounds. Uh, multiplication. Multiplication, you just have to know your multiplication facts. So right here, uh, the way I'm going to do multiplication here, I go 7 times 4, 28. Carry the 2, 4 times 7 again, 28, plus 2 is 30. Carry the 3, 12 plus 3 is 15. Then I leave a placeholder here, I'll just put an X there. And then this is my tens place, so I start over 1. So 1 times 7, 1 times 7, 1 times 3. I add them up and get 8, 0 and 7, 12, carry the 1, 4, 5. And this is 5,278 gallons, remembering my units. Okay, let's even see if that makes sense. So 3... 100, 400 times 10 is about 4,000, so times 15, that does look about right. Okay. Here I have dollars, so let me erase this. So down below here I have dollars, 7, I have a 0, times 0, times 2, 7 and 2 is 14, carry the 1, 7, 8, again I need my placeholder. 0, 3 times 0, 3 times 2 is 6, 
3 times 1 is 3. I add that up to get 0, 0, 4, 14, carry the 1, 4. And I have my decimal place over 1, 2 places here. So I gotta keep track of that here, 1, 2. So I have $444. Again, let's see if that makes sense. Uh, $12 times 4 is about 480. And then add another zero, about 480. So I'm in the ballpark, so $444 is right. I'll just do one more. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1, 21. 54 times 4 is 216 degrees. Don't forget your units there. Okay. Moving on to division. So on division, uh, these are just kind of math facts I have to know. I have to know that 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. There are no units. 144 divided by 6. Um, the way I do this is I'm saying 144, how many times does 6 go into 144? So 6 goes into 14 twice, gives me a 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. Bring down the next one, 4. 6 and a 24, 4 times. So 144 divided by 6 is 24. Or what I'm saying is 24 times 6 is 144. 96 feet divided by 8. Um, that's a math fact. So I should know that's going to be, let's see, 12. Let me double check that. 12 feet. 12 times 8 is 80 plus 16 is 96. So that's right. Okay. Here I have 5,012 pounds divided by 14, divided by 14, so 14 goes into 5,012, 14 goes into here three times, 42, 50 minus 42 is 8, bring down the 1, 14 into 81, um, 5 is a little too high, right? No, it's not, 5 would be 50, 70. They give me 11, 112, 14 goes into 112. Oops, this is a 5 right here, right? 14 goes into 112. Um, 9 times, 8 times. 8 would be 32, 112. So 14 goes into 112 8 times. So my answer would be 358 pounds. Okay? So that's division. Uh, you gotta know your math facts and you gotta keep track of your numbers to keep them things in pretty good order. Okay. Now this is order of operations. The rule here is you always do what's inside of the parentheses first. Um, there's a mnemonic device, PEMDAS. Uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So if I'm doing all these operations, I do everything in the parentheses first. So here I do 3 times 9, 27 times 5. Uh, I need to multiply that out to get 135. 135 plus, I do this first, 14. 135 plus 14 is 149. Okay. So again, the order of operations is you do the parentheses first um, and then the multiplication. Okay, so to summarize this, math is key. There's more money made or lost by doing the math than anything else. So you really have to know the math. And if it's hard, you've got to just keep practicing those number facts and keep doing this. Okay, um, math is an important part of any job. Keep long evolved problems simple by breaking them down into a lot of different sub-problems. And practice reading diagrams and figuring lengths, widths, depths, and heights. All right. Let's move on to chapter 7.